Hello, everybody. <sighs> so, I want to talk to you about a couple things. One is, I want you guys to realize how powerful your voice is and the words that come out of it, as I just started talking about cussing. But this is like legit stuff here. Every time I go to ship product, whenever like I go to send my books or send my chat books out, while I'm at the post office shipping, I get a sale, okay, on my Etsy shop. Whenever I am out talking to people about my books and how many books I sold that week and stuff like that. More often than not, while I'm having that conversation, I get a sell on my Etsy shop. When I bitch about having to go to the post office, when I bitch about anything, whether it's the printer or paper or anything like that, when I bitch about those things, I don't get as many sales. Sometimes I will bitch about something and that whole day will go by and I won't sell anything, okay? When I am happy to go to the post office, when I'm excited about the sales that I'm getting, I sell books, okay? Now, whether or not you believe in manifestation, whether or not you believe in spirituality, whether or not you believe in anything, just being fucking positive. When you are positive about your stuff, good things happen, okay? When you're a negative Nelly about your stuff, nothing happens, okay? And then you get more upset about it. And then when you get more upset about it, less than nothing happens. And then when that happens, you get more upset about it. So much of everything, and you could talk to people in any business, so much of it is mindset. Just thinking positively helps your business grow. And it just helps you feel better, helps you be a better person. So yeah, I just did, um, this video on um, book sales and reading stats and all this stuff. And I have two more videos along those lines and one of them is specific about poetry. So um, those are gonna be really fun to do, I'm excited. On another note, some of the things that I've been doing, um, like I've been talking about this off and on for a while now but this is the poet's vlog. So um, I should just get to it. Like I am moving forward with Bloodshed Press. Um, th there's actually some thought in my head to change the name of it to something more, something more timid, just so um, getting in the door at some of the places that I want to carry um, our books, but at the same time, I really love the name and I love what it stands for. I just, I love the idea of like the company motto being to just bleed out on the page. That's kind of the idea. So I don't know, like I, I might change the name of it just to make it so like bigger chains that are giant fucking pussies will fucking not be put off by a name of a company. Good Lord, people are so stupid. Anyway, think positive guys. So that's that. I was going over numbers, going over financials, was talking to an accountant yesterday and went over my first go business plan. It was funny because when I was telling them what I was wanting to do, as I was saying it, I'm like, this isn't going to work. Oh my God. I don't know if this is like going to swing it. Like, oh man, the accountant was showing me the numbers to the accountant. It made total sense. 
and the accountant was like, yeah, this is great. Like you got this, you know, like this should be really good and all this other stuff. And I was just like, what? Like, it, like when I was doing the math on stuff, it was not good. I was like, oh, but then like a lot of the numbers were the same and he was showing me how they were good. So that made me feel a lot better. But also, um, I'm wondering if my scope, like my scale of how I want to start is, um, smart or not. And when I was talking to him about that, he was like, you know, that just depends on you and how much you can handle and how much you can do. And, um, if you're going to have employees helping you and then if you have employees helping you these numbers do change so um you just got to kind of figure out how to do that and i'm going to talk to somebody later today hopefully about um a small business person about employees and um, independent contractors and stuff like that because i might have to because like my first thought of this was I need to hire um, someone to do shipping and receiving someone to do like social media and um, marketing and hopefully PR I might have to get another person to help out with that somebody to do graphic design and um, somebody to do sales and um, I'm talking B2B sales, you know, business to business, to start opening accounts for us with um, certain retailers. And then um, I would be doing a lot of the editorial formatting, big picture plans, stuff like that. So yeah, I just, I like, it's, it's weird. When something is a dream of yours, floats through your head a certain way. Once you start putting numbers on paper, it becomes a lot more real. And I honestly thought the scale of what I wanted to do was too big and it's not. And I think that shook me because I honestly thought I was going to go in with this big idea and the accountant financial planner was going to like basically tell me this is all a really good idea but this is what you need to do right now and so i was preparing for that and trying to figure out okay well what would i cut what would i push back like how would i do this and um he was just like no this is good like if you could do this like this your first year that would be amazing. Like, this is really good. And I was just like shook. I don't know another, another way of saying it. I, I was shook. So now I guess I have to lock down, um, some people that I want to put out and figure out what to do because I have a lot of prongs on this fork and, uh, I need to figure out how to go about it. So anyway, that, that's what's been going on. And, um, most of last night and today has been me being kind of in awe that the fact that this could happen. And so, um, it's, it's just, it's really cool. And I hope this goes off, you know, like I've been publishing self-publishing, publishing other people's stuff, editing zines for so long now. It's like, why haven't I done this yet? Like, I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things. So, um, fingers crossed everybody. And, um, we'll see how this goes. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.